boys and girls. I'm Nana Rose. Have you ever heard of someone called Miss Frizzle? <laughs> if you have, then you're familiar with the Magic School Bus books. These are by Joanna Cole and Bruce Deacon. There's a series of books. It then became a television series after that, but these original books are Joanna Cole and Bruce Deacon. This is The Magic School Bus Inside a Beehive. If you notice, Miss Frizzle has on a dress with old-fashioned telephones on it. And she's listening, and inside she's hearing buzz, 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 buzz. You can tell it's an old-fashioned telephone. It has push buttons, and there's a cord that attaches the base to the phone, and then it plugs into the wall. There's an iguana playing with a fly. And she's looking at a book called The Yellow Pages. And in the olden days, <laughs> The Yellow Pages, it was a book that had everybody's phone number in it. And it says, so you have to turn it upside down, Telephone Directory, Bob's Better Bees. <laughs> so this is the magic school bus inside a beehive. And there's Miss Frizzle and her students, and they are bees. It'd be fun to be a bee, wouldn't it? Zzz. That's a beehive. That's a man-made beehive, not a beehive made. Not a bee-made beehive. You think so? Magic school bus inside a beehive. Oh, there's the iguana up in the tree. You find him? Or her? To my honey, Phil. <laughs> JC. To Will Tressler and Jim Setz and all the busy bees who are building our new hive. BD. All right, there's a spider web right there, but I'm going to have to put my fingers on it so I can hold the book. Because the spider web comes down, there's a spider. Let's see. There's a chart on the wall. It says, Insect Checklist. All adult insects always have six legs, always have three body sections, usually have wings, and usually have antenna. And the three body sections are the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. And then over here it says, honeybees are insects. Here are some other insects. Wasp, cockroach, ant, Housefly, cricket, dragonfly, goliath beetle, mosquito. And then on this poster it says honeybee, bumblebee, carpenter bee, orchid bee. What a perfect spring day! said Miss Frizzle, looking out the window. We thought it was perfect, too. Perfect for playing softball. But the Frizz had something else in mind. It's just right for observing honeybees! Dorothy Ann's Big Book of Bees. There are more insect species on Earth than all other animals put together. Yes, but do they all have to be in our classroom? And these bees are saying, Is a spider an insect? No, spiders have eight legs and two body sections. Spiders are relatives of insects. And then he's got a pretend bee and he's going, Buzz! And she's saying, Quit bugging me. <laughs> Get it? We had been studying about all different kinds of insects. Now, Miss Frizzle said she had found a beekeeper who would show us his honey beehives. And then up here it says, Some kinds of bees by Flory. There are more than 20,000 different kinds of bees. Here are some of them. And that's what I read before. These books have a lot going on on each page, so I'm going to have to take some time on each page for you. 
and then this says lunch. The beekeeper is visiting his hives today. We'll meet him there, said the frizz, and she swept out the door. <laughs> Maybe this will be a, a normal field trip for a change. I don't call six legs normal. It is if you're an insect. Japanese beetle. Let's see what this says. Be about insects. Curious. Oh, be curious about insects. The books she has are Lifestyles of the Creepy Crawlies by I'm a Bug. Lifestyles of the Busy Buzzies by Indie Hive. Can you believe butterflies have taste buds on their feet? Did you know all insects have a hard covering, something like your fingernails, like a little suit of armor? It's called an exoskeleton. Amazing but true, honeybees have 7,000 tiny eyes in each big eye. That means they have 14,000 eyes inside what we think looks like two eyes. As we boarded the old school bus, Miss Frizzle talked and talked about honeybees. They make a delicious food for us to eat, she said. They help many plants survive, and they are wonderful examples of social insects. Bees are my favorite insects. What is your favorite insect, Arnold? I'm not the kind of person who has a favorite insect. And then over here it says, What are social insects? By Wanda. Social insects live and work together in a community. Some social insects, ants, nest in the ground. Paper wasps make a nest out of wood pulp. Bumblebees nest in grass-lined holes in the ground. Termites nest in wood. A word from Dorothy Ann, social comes from a word that means friend or partner. So when we're feeling social, we wanna hang out with our friends, right? Well. Some communities of insects are social insects. Miss Frizzle, look at this dress. It has crayons, um, a paint palette, a paintbrush, and her shoes. Scotch tape dispensers on her shoes. She's so silly. Be careful around stinging insects. Who do bees sting by Phoebe? Stinging is the way bees protect their hive. Bees usually sting only if they have to. That's because they die soon after they sting. I'll sting, but only for a good cause. Such as saving the hive. Honeybees have barbs or hooks on the end of their stingers. Here's the stinger and here's little pokey barbs. When a honeybee stings, her stinger gets stuck in the victim's skin. The stinger is pulled out of the bee's body and the bee dies. Miss Frizzle drove out into the country and parked the bus next to the hives. The beekeeper was late. So Frizzy took out a picnic basket. Some light refreshments will pass the time while we wait, she said. Sometimes our teacher has good ideas. Bees usually will not sting unless you touch them, annoy them, or get too close to their hive. May we um, close the windows, please? She has honey. But just as she opened a jar of honey, her elbow knocked a strange little lever. 
The honey jar fell and we heard a weird buzzing sound. Oops! It was the bus. It was vibrating and getting smaller. It, so was everything in it, including us. We're shaking, we're shrinking. I hate when this happens. Allergic to Bee Stings by Ralphie. Some people get very sick and can even die from bee stings. They have to carry special medicine. Have you ever known somebody, or maybe you have, an EpiPen? Yeah, that's if you have a, a severe allergic reaction to something. Be little, like a bee. There's so many things on these pages. Bruce Deegan put so many different things into his pictures that I've got to try and catch them all for you. Beehives Through the Ages by Tim. Wild bees have always made their homes in hollow trees or logs. Human-made hives are built of straw, pottery, or wood. There's a pottery beehive, a straw beehive, and a wood beehive, but there's a tree. That's the original way that they'd be used. Meanwhile, coming from the West, Bob's Better Bees. Uh-oh. Look, this truck engine is smoking. Before we knew it, the bus looked like a little beehive. And we looked like real bees. We really did. All out, class, buzzed the frizz. Be a bee, everyone! Do we have a choice? Stop poking me with your antenna! Stop stepping on my wing! These things don't happen on most class trips. See the school bus beehive up here? No? They're reading a book called Dorothy Ann's Big Book of Bees. One by one, we stepped out the door and looked over at the nearest hive. At the entrance, worker bees were standing guard. Guard bees usually keep out bees from other hives, said the frizz. According to my research, guard bees will bite and sting strange bees. Um, do we qualify as strange bees? Oh, no doubt about it. Guard B in position to meet incoming bees, it says entrance. <laughs> That'd be really cool if your school field trips did stuff like this, huh? Let's see what it says over here. Looking for bee food? Try a flower by Shirley. Bees gather nectar, a sweet liquid in flowers. They also collect pollen, tiny colorful grains in flowers. Flower, here's the pollen. That's the petal of the flower. There's the stem. The nectar is down inside and there's a leaf. The average bee visits thousands of flowers every day. Now I know why they call them busy bees. There is one time when guard bees may let in a strange bee, said Miss Frizzle. Sometimes a hive may adopt a lost bee if it is carrying a lot of bee food. All bee food comes from flowers. Bees eat only nectar and pollen and foods that make nectar and pollen. What? No chips? We'll have to visit flowers and get bee food in order to gain entrance to the hive. Follow that bee, shouted the frizz. We flew after a bee that was headed towards some bright flowers. Exactly what does she mean by gain entrance to the hive? She means go inside it. Oh, I was afraid of that. Flying is fun. Buzz off. Meanwhile, coming from the east, bears like honey, don't they? Yeah. 
so much fun stuff going on in these books. Bees Help Flowers Make Seeds by Alex. As bees visit flowers, they pollinate them. This means they carry pollen from one flower to another. So here's a picture of a flower with pollen. There's a pollen tube. There's fertilized egg inside the ovary and the honey stomach inside the body, the tongue and the nectar. When a grain of pollen joins with an egg cell in a flower, a seed begins to grow. Many plants cannot make seeds unless bees pollinate their flowers. We need bees. Observe our bee children and do exactly what she does, Miss Frizzle called. The bee stuck her long tube-like tongue deep into a flower and pumped out nectar. We each did the same with a rubber tube. The bee carries the nectar in a pouch called the honey stomach. Frizzle told us, we carried our nectar in a tiny bottle. Be kind to flowers, pollinate them. Be a bee, collect nectar and pollen. Pollen grains rubbed off the flower and stuck onto the bee's fur. With her front leg and middle legs, she combed off the pollen and packed it into pollen baskets, pouches on her back legs. When she returned to the hive, we packed our pollen and went along. At my old school, we never collected flower products. If we have a lot, maybe the bees won't sting us. I'm getting extra. There's the pollen basket. Bees help make food for people by John. Bees pollinate many crop plants and plants that give us our food. Apples, blueberries, squash, oranges, we need bees. <laughs> and we do. A lot of our plants, we wouldn't be able to eat food if we didn't have bees to pollinate them. Which is why the demise of the bee colonies is such a big deal because without bees, we won't be able to eat. One by one, we landed at the hive. The frizz sprayed us with a bee pheromone, a chemical that bees make. Now we smelled like bees. Then came the scary part. Bees Talk with Smells by Amanda Jane. Pheromones are body chemicals that allow animals to talk to each other by smell. Phew, do you have to talk so loud? With pheromones, bees send each other many messages. Here are some of them. I'm a hive mate. I'm a stranger. I'm a worker. I'm the queen bee. <laughs> danger, danger, defend the hive. Bees don't talk in words, but they do communicate. There may be as many as 60,000 bees in one hive class. What if they notice we're not real bees? Spare me again, please, Miss Frizzle. Be brave, kids. We held our breath as the guard bees brushed us with their antenna, smelling us. If they fell for our trick, we'd get into the hive. If they didn't, we'd get in big trouble. We're taking a big chance. I'll buzz to that. Work orders. Guard the entrance, clean hive, build comb, make honey, fan wings to cool hive, tend queen, feed baby bees, collect pollen and nectar. That's why they're called busy bees, huh? Who's Who in the Hive by Michael. In a honeybee colony, there are three castes of kinds of bees. The queen. Her job is to lay eggs, eggs, and more eggs. That's the queen's job. She lays eggs. Two, the workers. They are all female bees. 
that usually do not lay eggs, workers do almost all the jobs in the hive. You heard that, guys, right? It's the girls that do all the work. Three, the drones are all male bees. A male bee's only job is to mate with the queen. Worker, drone. Do you think they're going to get in? The guards smelled our bee spray and our bee food. They let us pass. Other workers took our nectar and bustled off with it. Hooray! We're free to explore the hive, sang out Miss Frizzle. A beehive comes in sections by Molly. Top, inside cover, super frames hold the extra honey we take to eat. Queen excluder keeps the queen in lower sections. Frame with comb, cells hold baby bees, honey, and pollen. Deep hive box, entrance, landing platform, you are here. Meanwhile, coming from the west, there's Bob's better bees. Bob is putting water into his coolant into his engine. The first thing we saw was our bee. She was doing a strange dance. Other bees crowded around her, touching her and listening to her. Miss Frizzle said the dance was a language. With her dance, the bee told others which way to go to the flowers she found. Meanwhile, coming from the east, <laughs> the dance helped the bees find food faster. They did not have to waste time looking for it. They flew off in the direction of the flowers we had visited. So they talk to each other by smell. They talk to each other by dance. The round dance by Phil. This dance tells bees that a food source is close to the hive. The dancing bee walks in a circle, then turns around and goes the other way. The other bees go outside and fly in a circular pattern near the hive until they find the flowers. Kind of like a bee GPS, huh? Oh, that's cool. B-G-P-S. Bees have many dances. Dorothy Ann's big book of bees. Each dance says something different. New bees gathered around our bee to get the latest news. We passed the dancing bee and went deeper into the hive. Doesn't the dance language of bees give you a sense of wonder, Arnold? Yes. I wonder which way is out. The Waggle Dance by Carmen. This dance tells bees that a food source is far away. It also tells which way to fly. The dancing bee makes a figure eight. She waggles her body in the middle line. One, if the bee waggles straight up, the other bees fly toward the sun. If the bee waggles to the left, the other's bee fly to the left of the sun. If the bee waggles to the right, the other bees fly to the right of the sun. Pretty cool, huh? It's kind of like American Sign Language for bees. The inside of the hive was covered with beeswax. The bees had shaped the wax into comb thousands of little containers called cells. Every cell was a hexagon, a six-sided shape. The comb was so perfect. We couldn't believe bees made it. Make comb, class, said Miss Frizzle. Almost all bee life takes place on the comb, class. Bees dance on the comb. 
they walk and rest on the comb. And it says, be helpful, make hexagons. Where does beeswax come from by Gregory? Bees make wax inside their bodies. The wax comes out through openings in the bee's abdomens. Look inside me, wax glands. Look underneath me, openings for wax. Frame with comb, pollen, eggs and larva, pupa, capped cells. We are here, deep hive box. We did our best, but our cells came out pretty lopsided. Luckily, the bees didn't notice us. They just tore down our cells and built them over again. Other bees were busy with other jobs, such as making honey. Bees raise babies in the comb cells. They store nectar and pollen in the cells. They make honey in the cells too. That's sweet of them. How Bees Make Comb by Rachel. A bee uses her back and middle legs to pass wax to her front legs. Then she chews and shapes the wax into cells. Honeybees make the comb cells tilt up so the honey doesn't drip out. That's pretty cool, huh? Honey pollen. If it's tilted, then the honey slides down, doesn't drip out. We saw the bees changing nectar into honey. First, they added chemicals from glands inside their heads. The chemicals changed the nectar sugars into honey sugars. Then they spread droplets out and fanned them with their wings. This dried up most of the water, leaving the honey thick, sticky, and extra sweet. We fanned too and helped make honey. Meanwhile, coming from the West, Bob's Better Bees. Be a bee, everybody! Fan the honey! If we act like bees, maybe they won't notice us. Relax, Arnold. Make yourself at home. My home isn't made of beeswax. Nectar inside cell, gland. Miss Frizzle said it was okay to eat some honey, as long as we left plenty for the bees. They need a good supply of honey to help them survive in the winter, she explained. It's cozy in a beehive. It's tasty in a beehive. It's easy to help with this job. Honey is good food by Molly. Honey is a very good food for bees, humans, and other animals. But human babies under one year should not eat raw honey. Oh, you're not old enough for honey, honey. Be happy. Eat honey. One Big Family by Carlos. Since the queen is the only female that lays eggs, all the bees in the hive are her children. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Uh, I mean, Your Majesty. We stopped eating honey long enough to notice a bunch of worker bees nearby. They were tending a larger bee with a long, thin body. <gasps> she was the queen bee. As the queen walked from cell to cell, she laid a small white egg in each one. Dorothy Ann's Big Book of Bees. The queen lays up to 1,500 eggs per day. Wow, that's one egg every 58 seconds. That's excellent. The workers touched the queen with their antenna. They licked her with their tongues and they fed her mouth to mouth exchange. Be a bee, tend to the queen. We can touch her with our antenna. We can give her some honey. Let's just skip the mouth to mouth part. Good idea. Why do workers touch and lick the queen? 
by Keisha. From the queen's body, workers get a pheromone called queen substance. Queen substance gland, take a message, queen worker. The workers leave the queen and walk through the hive. They touch and lick other bees. The other bees get the queen substance too. The queen says hello. I see she's fine, worker to worker. Queen substance tells the bees that the queen is alive and well. Then the workers keep doing their jobs and everything runs smoothly in the hive. So much to learn about bees, huh? Let's see. How to Feed Baby Bees by Amanda Jane. Nurse bees make baby food in glands inside their heads. This is called brood food. The nurses squeeze out the food right into the larva's cells. Sometimes larvae are swimming in food Sounds delicious. Older larvae also eat honey and bee bread, a food that is a mix of pollen and honey. In some cells, we saw worm-like creatures. These are larvae, baby bees that hatched out of the eggs, said Miss Frizzle. Nurse bees are feeding the babies. These worm-like things are baby bees? They don't look like bees at all. They will, Keisha, they will. All they need is three things, food, warmth, and time. The larva did nothing but eat fast and grow fast. Every time they got too big for their skins, they molted and shed their skins. Then they started eating and growing again. Be a bee, feed the larva. Larva are lucky. Yeah, they get room service. The Royal Treatment by Phil. If a hive becomes too crowded, workers get ready to start a new hive. First, they build some special upside down cells for the new queen bees. Queen's larva. Nurse bees feed ordinary female larva special food called royal jelly. Then the larva develop into queens. If a female larva gets royal jelly, she becomes a queen. If not, she ends up as a worker. Such a complex system. When it is big enough, the larva stops eating said the frizz. It spins a silk cocoon around itself. Now it's called a pupa. The nurse bees put a wax top on the cell. Inside, the pupa doesn't eat or grow bigger. It changes into an adult bee. This is called metamorphosis. Why does a larva eat a lot? So the pupa can change a lot. By Arnold. Pupa. Do not eat. So where do they get the energy to grow the part of adult bees? They use the fat and tissue they stored up when they were larva. Another word from Dorothy Ann. Metamorphosis comes from a word that means change. Things are changing in there. The pupae are getting heads. And eyes and antenna and wings and legs. Everything they need to be a bee. See the stages and how it changes? When the pupae have finished changing into adult bees, they chew their way out of the cells, continued Miss Frizzle. We saw new worker bees emerging. They let the air dry them off and started working right away. Meanwhile, we heard excited buzzing. What was happening? Now the metamorphosis is complete, children. The bees are all grown up. I'm so proud of them. The road from egg to bee, egg to larva to pupa to adult. Be adult, grow up.
Swarming bees usually don't sting by Phoebe. Usually bees sting because they have a hive to protect. A swarm does not. It's a colony of bees that's between hives. We're looking for an empty beehive or a nice hollow tree. That's a picture of a swarm. Meanwhile, the bear finds the hive. The queen was leaving the hive and she was taking almost half the workers with her. They flew away in a thick swarm. What would become of the hive now? Swarming is nature's way of starting new beehives. But how can the old hive survive without the queen? There's no one to lay eggs now. Oh, don't be so sure. Remember the queen cells? Exit. Now they're flying away. A queen bee can sting many times by Arnold. Unlike worker bees, which can sting only once, the queen bee can pull her stinger out of the victim and sting again. Miss Frizzle led the way to the queen cells. Two new queens emerged at the same time. Two queens? I thought. After they had dried out, they had a terrible fight. One queen stung the other queen to death. Then she killed the other queen pupae in their cells. Now she was the new queen. One queen in a hive. You were absolutely right. The stronger queen survives to pass on her strength to her children. The worker bees pushed the new queen out of the hive. Miss Frizzle said she was going on a nuptial flight, a flight to mate with drones. Queens meet drones by Wanda. Thousands of drones from many colonies gather in one place. When queens are ready to mate, they fly there too. Usually drones do not mate with the queen from their own colony. Another word from Dorothy Ann. Nuptial comes from a word that means wedding. New queen, drones. After the new queen mates, she'll return to the hive and start laying eggs. Her eggs will hatch and replace the workers that left with the old queen. Then the hive will be as strong as it was before. Uh, maybe yes, maybe no. After the new queen left, we heard heavy footsteps. It was a bear trying to steal the honey and the bee larva. The workers flew out and tried to sting the bear but its thick fur protected its body. If the bear breaks open the hive and eats all the honey and the larva, the bees may not survive. We have to help. Sting him. Zzz, I can't get through. Help. Meanwhile, beekeeper's still on the way. <laughs> We flew out and dived at the bear, but it kept coming at the hive. We have to use strategy class, called the frizz. We'll lure the bear away. Common hive raiders by Tim. Skunks, bears, wasps, bees from other hives. Bees can defeat most robbers, but bears are hard to beat. Beware, never get close to bears. They may look cute, but they are very dangerous. Be a bee, defend the hive. I don't want to hurt a cute little bear. I wouldn't say cute or little. I'd say big and hungry. Miss Frizzle made a bee line for the beehive bus and we followed. The jar of honey that had spilled before was still on the floor. The bear smelled the honey and came after us. Miss Frizzle! We yelled, do something! She stepped on the gas and the bus lurched forward. The bear will follow our honey away from the hive class. Miss Frizzle spilled that honey before we changed into bees and before we became bear bait. Oh, those are the good old days.
There's a lot of honey in this hive today. I'll take some honey to sell, but I'll leave enough for the bees. Smoke is used to calm the bees down. As we rounded a corner, the honey jar rolled out the bus door. As the jar fell, it returned to its normal size. The bear started eating honey and forgot all about us. Ha! Huh, what a jarring experience! Miss Frizzle reached for a joystick on the dashboard. To our relief, the bus lifted off. It wasn't a beehive bus anymore. It was a bee bus. Down below, we saw the new queen returning home from her nuptial flight. The hive is safe! We are safe! We'll meet the beekeeper other day class. Right now, we're returning to the classroom. It's about time. We returned home from our flight to the instant it six feet touched the ground in the school parking lot, the bee bus changed. It was a full-size school bus again. We were human kids again. Thank goodness for that last metamorphosis. Thank goodness we changed back to our real selves. I just said that. Be thankful, we're back. And back in the classroom, we thought of the perfect project to end the day, baking honey buns, of course. I kind of miss being a bee. Yes, I feel lost without my antenna. I liked the stripes. The best part was the honey, and we can still get that from beekeepers. Busy bee riddles, why do bees itch? They have hives. Why did the bee hum at her singing lesson? She didn't know the words. How does a bee fix her hair? She uses a honey comb. What grade did the students get on their honey project? They all got bees. Bye bye bees. Magic school oven. Honey from Bob's beehive. Honey from Bob's beehive. To Miss Frizzle and her class. Bob's better bees. We want to find out more about bee dancing, beekeeping. What kind of bee flowers bees like best? How people use beeswax. Check out the frizz. How shocking. Van de Graaft generator. Look at her hair. And now her dress has all electrical things on it. A toaster, a mixer, a battery. Some things can't happen in real life. A school bus cannot shrink to the size of a beehive or a bee. School children cannot become bees, fly to flowers and gather pollen, or enter a beehive and eat honey. They can't? Ah, oh, shucks. I was looking forward to starting school. This book shows bees making honey in a few minutes. It actually takes them many hours. Yes, and it takes baby bees many days to grow up into adult bees. The new queen doesn't start mating until she is about five days old. Then she spends a few days going on mating flights. This book shows her doing all that in one afternoon. And this book shows insects talking in words. Anyone knows we can't do that. We can't? Ah, oh, shucks. We'd better be quiet then. Meanwhile, far away in a blackberry patch. And there's the frizz and Bob having tea 
with the queen bee. Honey from Bob's hives. And their rug is the center of a flower. <laughs> there are a lot of Magic School Bus books. And this is Inside a Beehive. Well, that was a long book. I hope you learned a few things about bees. They're fascinating. And whatever you go do today, be happy and have fun.